Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Sunday night. Yeah, on Sundays I usually try to get my video in right after church, but didn't happen today. On the way home from church, I started feeling a little sick, stomach cramps, having a flare-up of some chronic issues, and that wiped me out for the afternoon. So I finally, like, I made dinner, took a nap, then probably around 2.30 or so, I got out to my chair and got working on Project Sked. And um, I was like, okay, I'm going to finish up this project and then I'll go make the video. So since I last checked in, I have made some progress on my scrap yarn challenge of the week. That's in this bin. I finished off the cotton. First, okay, let me move this so I can have a little table type thing here. First, with the bumpy, it's like a boucle, but it was cotton on little um, styrofoam spools. I made a bandana. I ran out of yarn before I could make the ties, so it has some um, tan ties. So there we go. We have a kerchief, and then this tan cotton. Well, someone had shown um, little chicken coasters. So I have a, a pattern for a chicken pot holder, so I just downsized it a little bit and made chicken coaster. 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 <laughs> coaster. Coaster. Okay. I got the bright idea to just make up the body of this and then do the comb and the beak separately all at one time. All that sewing at once ugh, was a pain. But on Saturday morning, we went out to my daughter's house, which is about half an hour ride, and we went out to a farm. It was lots of fun. We got to see the animals, got to watch granddaughter, who is almost four, riding on a pony and playing in the sandbox and jumping on a big um, bounce. Looks like a bounce house without walls, just a big bounce pad. Um, watch her go on a little barrel ride, a little barrel train where you actually sit in like a little barrel thing and a tra little tractor pulls you around. So it was lots of fun. And there was supposed to be a butterfly, butterfly Okay, I need a drink of water. A butterfly release. So we were thinking they were going to have like a box of butterflies and at a certain time just open the box and all these butterflies go fluttering into the air. No. You paid $7 to get a butterfly that was like there was a little folded envelope and the butterfly was inside and you opened it up and your butterfly fluttered away. So we just watched other people release their butterflies. Uh, but the ride out, I think I did two or three of the chicken bodies. Then the ride back, I finished off the yarn. So then once I got home, I had to do all the sewing, put the comb on, put the beak on, try to get all my yarn ends tucked in. So. So then, I'm like, okay, what do I do now? I'm going to work on my mystery yarn challenge yarn and try to finish up some of the yarn. Now, I showed you the other day, Suri, my chicken, that used all of the colors from the mystery yarn challenge. This yarn here that's from the arm, I'll put a picture of the yarn up there and... Um, do a little 
around the yarn that I wanted to use up. Um, it was a, a thinner yarn, like a sport weight. So I held it double. I think I used a G hook when I held it double, but I made a loaf kitty. This is the pattern by False Bubbles. Now, I have a rule. My rule says I don't sew stuff on after 10 o'clock. Little facial embroidery. Like, look, like, look at that. It's like three lines. Down, down, across. I tried doing that after 10 o'clock. I think I ripped this poor cat's face off five times before I decided I was going to leave it. Actually, I think I ripped ripped the, the, the nose and the mouth off last night around 11 o'clock and said, that's it. That's it. We'll try tomorrow. So I did get it finished today. So that didn't quite use up all of that yarn. So I combined it with a one strand. <sighs> Excuse me. I told you it's getting late. I combined it with one strand of sport weight worsted yarn. And I made a dragon. Now, the thing is, I played yarn chicken and I lost. I did not have enough yarn to finish up the wings. So the rest of the body is the body, the ears, the legs are all the, um, the Mr. Yarn Challenge yarn. And then, oh, wait a minute. This one isn't with blue. Uh, this one isn't with white. This one was with blue for the body. It was... The yarn that I circled before and that other yarn. Well then, when I ran out of the, the Tweedy yarn, I did the wings just with the blue and white. So they're pretty close. So, what have I got left in this scrap yarn bin? I've still got the wool. I need to make some dryer balls. The acrylic, I have a little bit of tan. I could make a donut or two. I have a lot of, well, that was, that was more a brown. I have a lot of beige. I have some gray. Hey, Lori, pet rocks. I have some chocolate brown, dark chocolate, and a little bit of homespun left. So I'm probably going to make some loaf cats. I think I need to restock loaf cats. So I'll take this out by my chair and that will become my new um, focus. Oh, I haven't gotten as much done today as I wanted to because I was so wiped out. Um, my to-do list, I, I was going to reprint my to-do list, you know, delete the things that I'd already done, put in the new stuff, prioritize it again. I've just been scribbling on it all day. So I need to go do that because I also need to update my shopping list. We are out of so much stuff. I really have to go shopping tomorrow. I've got my meals planned for the week. Yay! <laughs> one point in my favor. <laughs> I did one thing today. Yes. So that's it. Um, just a few finished projects. And even just looking at that box, I'm thinking, oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. I, I have to find this pattern. I have to find that pattern. I, I used to have a listing for coasters. I have little um, 
little coasters that look like coffee cups. I have a pattern someplace. I need to find that. And I also had a, a pattern for a hedgehog coaster. need to find that. Because I would like to have just a little basket of coasters for my next craft show. Seems like coasters are in lately. I need to find some yarn because I had maybe two or three listings of yarn in my Etsy shop and one of them sold today. So I need to get that. I need to find that. Find a little something extra to put with it and get that ready to go out in the mail tomorrow. And have I? Hmm. Have I earned a break to a break from my scrap yarn to dig into my new ho hobby stash and grab one of my new yarns to play with maybe maybe I'll finish up the, the scrap yarn challenge first tonight seems like a scrappy night I'm making good progress but that's it a few, fin few things finished a little bit more progress made what is it? It's August 11th already? August is one third over? I need to, okay, we've got 20 days left. I need to make at least one a day of the little, I'll put a picture up there, the little stingrays. Because when I was visiting with my daughter and granddaughter yesterday, um, she's having her birthday party for turning four over the Labor Day weekend. She doesn't turn four until later in the month, but with the holiday weekend, the cousins will come to visit. Um, and I told her, inspired by Strawberry Bonnie, my friend Strawberry Bonnie here on YouTube, has a daughter who is having a birthday party soon. And she was talking about how she is going to crochet these little amigurumis for her daughter to give away as party favors. So I said to my granddaughter, how about if I make you a bunch of stingrays and you can give them out to the kids who come to your party? And she goes, well, I want one too. Yes, yes. I'll make enough that you can have one. You know, we'll just have, I'll bring you like a little bowl of stingrays and you can give them out to your friends and what's left you and the cousins can split up. So, okay. So in order to keep that promise, I'm going to have to make a stingray or two each day and have a nice little basket. When I showed her that picture, she liked the sparkly one. She's like, I want that one. It's like, well, I don't have that one anymore, but I have the yarn to make it again. So I think that sparkly stingrays are going to be very popular, especially since there will be a lot of girls at this party. Ah, I'll have to see what sort of sparkly yarns I have here. Really you know, do it up. I think I've got some sparkly pink. I think I've got some sparkly blue. We're going to put some sparkle on these stingrays. Okay, it's time to go. Work on the scrap yarn challenge and play with some scrap yarn. Uh oh. It is 8.40 and I haven't even started my puzzle quarter for the day. That could be an issue. Uh oh. Okay. I know what I'm going to be doing. Bye bye.